Okay guys, so today as you can see from the title, we're doing team building tips for Ninja Rose Season 6. Now I'm going to tell you about Ninja Rose just a little bit so you can get a thought process behind them, why I'm actually built the teams the way I built them. And also tell you why I'm going to start doing these team building tips. Number one, I don't see very many people doing team building tips for Ninja Rose and the raids itself. Normally, well, us YouTubers, um, as in like the Blazing YouTubers, when we do a raid, you normally just take the team building tips that we give you from us telling you about how the raid's gonna work and us running through the raid. And y'all know me, normally I do raid reviews so that way I can show you exactly what's in the raid and I also tell you what units th that you should bring at the end of the video so that way you can have your teams and stuff built up just in case if you're like me looking at my team now, my Obito's not maxed out, neither is my Sosuno Sasuke. So, that way if you have a, there's a unit that you need to bring, you can go ahead and level that unit up and have them ready for the Ninja Road or the Raid or whatever. Well, I have a couple people that still watch my Raid Review videos even after I tell you what teams to bring and how to build the team or how you should set them up. And they're still asking me what teams to build. And I understand most of y'all won't have the units that I have now. If y'all still need help with team building tips, hit me up in the comment section below and I'll either tell you to hit me up on Discord or hit me up on Twitter or I will even help you in the comment section. But just uh, in the comment section, it'll be a lot harder because I can't see screenshots of your box and stuff. So if you do need help, still hit me up through my Discord and or through Twitter if you're doing it on Discord. Mind the rules, look at the rules before you come through. But like I said, we're going to be doing team building stuff. And first, I want to tell you about the raid just a tiny bit. I I think I'll do stages 15 through 20 reviews when um, the actual raid comes out, so look out for that. But the raid itself, the first two boss fights are wisdom, the last two boss fights are bravery, and there's a shit ton of ads everywhere. Not on the actual boss fights, but like on the individual stages. There's nothing really special about this ninja road. You can do it with one team, and these teams are built for one team running. Now, of course, you can add to it, you can replace units. But this teams are built for one team running, and we are on Ninja World Clash setting up the teams because Ninja Road isn't out, and I didn't want to fuck up my actual teams that I have set up for the raids and stuff. So we're on Ninja World Clash setting up a team. Okay, so this first team is not that OP. It's not that uncommon to have most of these units. Most of these units are either old, they're Blazing Fest units, and or they were Step Up Banner, and even that Sosuno Sasuke was for sale in the shop. So all these units were very easy for you to get if you summoned a good amount. Now I know a lot of people don't have these units and I will try my best to put some substitutions in as we go through this team. So of course we have Obito, we have Madara, we have Sosuno Sasuke, we have Heart Tsunade, we have KCM Naruto, uh, the skill one by the way if you can't see, if you're watching the video without like looking at it for some reason, I don't know. Then we have Bravery Dryer. Now this team is set up for healing and AoE attacking. All these units do some type of AoE attacking if it's not being their ultimates and or being their ultimates and their ninjutsu. Now, I'm not too sure about Sosuno Sasuke's ninjutsu. I don't know if that's AoE. And I know Heart Tsunade has no type of AoE. But Tsunade is there for her overall healing. She can heal herself and two other units at one time. So you can get up to like 3,000 healing. Madara, of course, does buddy healing. And so does Jiraiya. Now, that's pretty much why this team's built this way. Uh, Obito is really clutch when it comes to almost any stage where the shit ton used. There's one stage where a whole bunch of body units spawn around you. I know the last boss fight. You have the Ten Tails there, and you can actually use Obito's ultimate and kill off everyone right off the bat, or kill off all the Ten Tails body parts without actually having to individually nuke one of them or using another ultimate on them. So Suno Sasuke is there, of course, because his ninjutsu does like 4.8 times attack, give or take. I think it's 4.8. I should really check, but I'm too lazy to do that. But yeah, so Suno Sasuke is there for his AoE ninjutsu. He it it is eight chakra. It's a lot of chakra, but he is there in replace of the Renegon Sasuke. And for all of you that's going to be saying, why isn't Sage Six Path Naruto up here or Renegon Sasuke up there? I've know the team built for them. I thought I would build a team without them, just because you know some people might not have them. So yeah, so Suno Sasuke is there for the slip damage and the AoE attacking. He does have a lot of chakra. But, like I said, you, this raids are, well, these stages anyway, are really a lot of units that you don't really need to use your ultimates half the time. You can mainly combo hit a lot of them, but just to speed run it, I put Sosuno Sasuke there. Of course, Dry is there for the immobilization slip damage. KCM Naruto, let's go ahead and click on him real quick because 
I'm not too sure if this is ninjutsu or his ultimate's AoE. Pretty sure his, I know his ultimate's AoE, but I'm not sure about his ninjutsu. Yeah, his ninjutsu is not AoE, but his um his ultimate is AoE. It's only 12 chakra. It's not that bad, especially if you have dupes towards him. He's a lot better with the dupes. I don't have dupes with him myself. Of course, like I said, Madara is there for, because both of his attacks are AoE. His chakra cost isn't too bad. He does a shit ton of damage. And his um bo his actual ninjutsu boxes, the area that he could hit, is really good. And of course, like I said, Tsunade's there for healing. You could replace any of these units with whoever you want. I'm going to show you my second team, and then I'll go over some of, of the other units that you could bring. So the second team I have built, which is going to be the team I actually run if it will go over, is this team here. Now... I may switch this team up just a little bit when it comes to the actual ball, actually like doing it and f fixing uh, who I should replace and whatnot. But this team should be really solid for running this raid to begin with because of course Age of Six Path Naruto has a shit ton of healing. He heals, my, mine only heals for 300 by himself and then of course he can heal up to 600 with you have all three, have three dupes have three dupes towards him then you also have it to where he does field healing moderate does buddy healing and dry does buddy healing so you have plenty of healing you don't have to worry about healing at all and, and of course renegon sasuke can have four chakra mine of course has four chakra that own his so he has four chakra both of his ninjutsus are aoe they're very easy to get seijimo naruto he's really good as well because if you have all of his dupes like i do uh, you actually have his ultimate that is AoE. Now his nin regular ninjutsu isn't AoE, but with him only having four chakra, it's really easy for him to go ahead and get another ultimate attack back up. And of course, even if you really wanted to, you could use his ninjutsu. It does have attack reduction that could help you out in some way. Of course, like I said, Dry is there for the buddy healing and mobilization. Mater is there for his jutsus, the AoE attacking, does a shit ton of damage. Obito there is like Obito is only really there. To use his ultimate ninjutsu on the boss fights just to clear out the actual boss's extra body parts they have and or stage that I don't want to waste anyone else's ninjutsu. Now some of the other units you could actually bring to replace units on my team or build your own team. You could bring the stage mode wisdom uh, Jiraiya or as I call him Jerry. He's really good. He, he has AoE attacks. His chakra cost isn't too high. Of course you have body Hashirama or stage mode Hashirama. He's the blazing fest one. He has four chakra. Both of his attacks are AoE and they do a shit ton of damage as well. Tintin 10 is also really good because she has three chakra. I believe it's AoE and there's a couple stages in the actual ninja road where they're using only heart units i believe yes I, I do believe that that's really good as well you can also bring kirin sasuke he's aoe he's amazing and of course you know if you don't have stage six path naruto you can always bring as kabuki would call the king of pvp which he is because he can 150 attack boost himself we all know him we all love slash hate him Ego hates it when people run him in the raid when he's trying to speedrun because they stall. It is the almighty one tell Naruto. He, you could definitely bring him. I actually will probably replace my stage mode Naruto on my team now with one tail because one tail of course 150 attack boost and all. Uh, we could just completely demolish the bosses. So that's pretty much it for the team building guide today. Um, I probably will give you a few more units that you could bring when I actually am doing the run, so look out for that. Guys, let me know down in the comment section below when I when Ninja Road comes out. Do should I do um maps one through twenty or maps only fifteen through twenty? Or just like um do like one through twenty but don't cover all twenty of them, cover only the harder ones that have something special to them. But anyway guys, I hope this helps you build your teams. I know it's kinda all over the place. It's been a weird day for me so far. I'm not feeling too well, so that's why I was kinda stuttering. And I'm not gonna really cut out a lot of it because I'm kinda lazy today because you know it's one of those off days but if you enjoyed make sure you drop a like let me know down in the comment section below if you need help building some teams and i will try my best let me know the teams you're going to be running are you going to be running all three teams are you going to be running two teams are you running one team are you running a fucking one unit run like like kabuki uh let me know what you're going to be doing down in the comment section below leave a like if you haven't done it yet anyway guys i'll see you the fuck later peace